Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this will be kind of a heavy reading because uh, one of you viewers has asked, and I can't pronounce your name, so I'll have it printed out here. But one of you has asked about uh, will there be war between uh, China and the United States? So I hadn't intended to read on something so heavy like that, but that's what we'll talk about today. So uh, that's the subject. Will there be war between the United States and China? I imagine this has something to do with uh, Taiwan. You know, U.S. and South Korea and Japan have been rallying together for a bit uh, to show their force and China has been buzzing US jets and has a fleet uh, out in the waters between Taiwan and China and other places I believe so that's what we'll talk about in today's video and I hope you like the video and if you like the video please do like the video and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and thank you very much for watching Okay, so this will be sort of a an interesting reading, I guess, about uh, whether uh, China and the United States will have a war. You know, that doesn't mean it has to be some horrible, long-lasting, um, uh, you know, uh, earth-destroying war. It could be a scuffle. But uh, will there be a war between, uh, and the viewer has asked that. Now, I've got these this deck of cards here, which is the Templar uh, Tarot called The Journey. And they're pretty cool. They're a little complicated to use. And... Um, but uh, we'll use these today. And, you know, I, I'll tell you about these cards at the end of the video, but just to show you right here, because there's some cool stuff that comes with these cards, you get um, this, uh, I guess you can use like a, a gift card, and then some pieces of art that work well for um, other things. So that's uh, what you get. And all the, you know, the postcards, it's a cool set. You'll see it all at the end. I'll tell you everything about it. The other thing is that there's about 23 more cards uh, that are part of this set than in a regular tarot deck. And they're called life cards. They have to do with life, uh, birth, death. Anyway, there's 23 extra cards. So let's do this. I want to put something on the table that reminds us of the deck we're using. And you can see that this is a lot of cards to deal with. So I'm just going to use my intuition on those cards that aren't typical, normally uh, uh, tarot cards that we'd recognize because they are very intuitive, intuitive in the way they're labeled. And they almost seem like major ar arcana cards, but they're beyond uh, a normal tarot deck. So, you know, you've got that. I integrated them at random into the deck. And uh, once we shuffle them for a couple more times, will be ready but what I want to talk about of course is um, China and the United States will there be a war and is China doing stuff to make us feel like they would conquer us in a war would they actually have a war but before we do any of that stuff let's have just a moment of meditation So, China, would they start a war? Let's, we're going to do a couple of three card draws and then probably a six card draw, maybe a ten card uh, instead of the six card. We'll see how that goes. But a couple of uh, lesser cards for just to get some base questions out of the way. Would, not will, but would China be willing to start a war with the United States? Three cards. Remember, I'll talk about these cards a lot more at the end, and please remember also to subscribe. Okay, so would China be in a war with the United States? And it's not asking if they would start the war, would they be in, at war with the United States? Well, look, they will def defend their honor. This is the knight who is the defender, and uh, this is truth, justice, rules, and law. They will defend their honor. This is the Nine of Pentacles. 
the Nine of Pentacles is uh, just uh, lavish. Uh, this is the person who's very uh, loaded with wealth, and that certainly is who China is. And then, oh, I, I drew four cards by mistake, so let's see how that plays out. The next card is the Jin. So this is one of those extra cards, non-tarot cards, specific to this Templar uh, tarot, and it's the Jin. Uh, the Jin for me is a, remember in um, Arabian Tales, you had the Blue Jin, the Genie, and so this is some sort of a metaphysical, almost uh, supernatural, perhaps, uh, influence um, uh, where the, the the outcome is determinable by the person with the strongest will. But you can see that it's a sinister um, um, issue with uh, two cups of emotion here. So a very um, sinister emotional uh, situation. And this is whether uh, China would um, have war with the United States. And then the final card then is <laughs> fecund fecundity. And I don't know what fecundity is. And this is, again, one of those cards that's specific to this deck. I, I included them. But if you look at the card, it shows you here this beautiful woman, this mother, cradling her baby. She's crowned with a, a halo of stars right here at the top. Uh, you can see that she has several portals available to her, but what's happening here is she's standing on the evil influences of a snake. And it's not able to retaliate, but then again, she can't really move very much. much. So, so fecundity, let me see what that means. I'm going to look it up real quick on my telephone. This is, you know, to be in this age where everything is available to us, F-U-C-U-N, C-U-N, D-I-T-Y, D -I -T -Y, and define. Okay, and this tells us that uh, the ability to produce an abundance of offspring or new growth, fertility, new ideas, so fecundity. So it's it's a birth, it's newness, it's base, it's more good, but it is uh, with a measure of caution. So, and that question as to whether China would have war with it, uh, yeah, but there'd be a lot of thought that went into it and it would be a dark emotional situation if they would. Okay, so United States. Would the United States have a war with um, China? Would the United States have war with China? Not will they start a war, not will they respond to the war if China starts it, just as a matter of policy, would the United States have war with China? Three cards. And I'm going to try to make sure I just get three cards this time. Three. But you have to think, whatever uh, appears in your hand is meant to uh, come out, as far as the cards are concerned. So three cards, United States, look at that. So we get that, that cautious, gruesome warning of uh, a compassionate situation. We also get here an angelic two of cups. Cups, again, being heartfelt, emotional and with an angelic you know, partnership, but definitely with an angelic inspiration. Look at that. And with the United States uh, War with China, look at that. The priest, again, one of those extra cards specific to this group. And the priest would represent, of course, hope and, um, and doing things for the right circumstance. But you see this priest here uh, is imbued with, look at the feathers that are just stuck into him, these quills that are stuck into the priest. And he has actually growing out of his head horns, almost like a deer, Look at, or antlers. Look at these antlers that are growing out of his head. Uh, he has long hair. He's got a very serious face. He's very pious. He's very untouched by what's going on. And this is number five uh, card. Uh, I don't know what significance that would have. But um, so the United States, yeah, it would be have to be thoughtful. Uh, it had to be very the righteous thing to do with an element of darkness if needed. So they would. And now let's do six cards to see what would happen if the United States and China actually had some war. And you know there's all this stuff going on about Taiwan is what the issue is. Uh, Taiwan has been a free, tra not, I don't know if it's free trade is the right thing to say, but they've been almost like a separate entity and China said, listen, that was at our uh, with our grace and uh, we uh, want to bring them into the fold um, and so this probably isn't going to last forever. There's six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to if there were war with China in the United States. What can the cards tell us about that? Four, five, six. If there were war with the United States and China, what can the cards tell us about that? Signifier card. Okay, so this is the king of, of what? He has all the elements with him. This has to be the king of swords, I'm going to say, because the overlying uh, image in here is this great big kind of a anchor, upside down sword look kind of structure. So this for me is the king of swords, even though he's got a chalice and a scepter in his hands. Um, so war between the two countries, the signifier is the king of truth, justice, rules, and law. He is the one who will um, determine the outcome. The challenge to that then is a wheel of fortune. Wow, it's literally a wheel of fortune. It could go either way. The challenge to this righteousness is that it really could go either way. The basis of this whole thing is another king of pentacles. Okay, the king of pentacles uh, then is um, value. Uh, so the values are what is at the core of all of this. And uh, if this, if a king of swords shows up, then I have to redefine this card, in which case I would think it's, this is probably a king of cups now that I think about it, because cups are water, emotions, and this guy is flooded with water. He's got a cup in one hand, so this could be a king of cups. We'll see. Um, which means that uh, compassion and emotion would rule the day. It would be a, um, a crapshoot as to who uh, would win. And uh, the king of pentacles is the base, the value, the real true worth of all of this is at the base of it and in the past of this is the world card which is beginnings and endings and of course that's it because it would be a world uh, wide involved uh, situation if the united states and china uh, but it's in the past of this so if it went to war that would be in the past and then the sky of this is betrayal so the best you could hope for is to um to overcome the uh, horrible betrayal that brought the whole thing on and uh, in this betrayal, this um, this person with a crown of thorns is getting ready to crown uh, this figure here, praying over a skull. So betrayal is the sky of that thing. And then the final outcome is the page of wands, action. So some small action will be what's left over. And they say the meek should inherit, will inherit the earth. And so I wonder if just what would be left is just some small offering of a plan to continue on. Let's do four more cards uh, to make a full Celtic cross. So if there would be war, uh, one at a time, we signify our uh, card for that very question of if there would be war between the United States and China, the signifier would be, well, pilgrimage. Wow. So pilgrimage, again, one of the cards that is not specific to the Rider Wade, it's specific to the Templar Tower. And pilgrimage makes you think of, you know, starting anew, going off fresh, innocent, and um, this, for me, has to represent the United States. The um, environment that that would be in is the true cross, the actual, real truth. Wow. The hopes and the fears, then, would be um, godly, uh, holy, and then the final outcome would be right here. And this is the King of Wands. So actions uh, coming forward to take plan. So yeah, humanity survives and we become kings again. But um, yeah, if there would be war, it would be a crapshoot as to who would come out on top. There's betrayal, there's re new starts, there's holding on to your value, ending up with a plan to continue forward. And you started out as a page with just a suggestion of a plan, but worked your way through to be the king of that plan. So humanity, just keeps on. Hey, I'm gonna show you the cards now. Okay, so these are Templar Tarot The Journey. Cool cards. They've got an interesting packaging, but I'm not a big fan of it, and you'll know why in a second. So this is a sleeve that covers the main box, and I guess it's meant to look like a book. This looks like the spine of the book, maybe the front of the book, maybe the back of the book, and maybe the pages inside of a book. Beautiful and, and decent quality, but when it's new and you're trying to get this apart, you see I've left it a little open so I can get in here. When it's pressed together, it is hard to get this apart because this is so packed with good stuff. 
Uh, and it's a shame that the good stuff that's in there uh, has that stigma of being in this box. You can see here that I actually tore the box when I first opened it, when it was new, trying to get stuff out. Okay. Now, the, the um, booklet. It's a beautiful booklet. Uh, got lots of good ideas for divination in here. It's got some good depictions of the cards in here. And um, so, it's a great book. It's a lot of good information inside. When you open it up, the first few pages, you can see they've not spared any expense to make this seem like quality. So if you gave this as a gift, I mean, this really redeems it from being hard to get out of the box. The plus that you get with this are these extra cards uh, right here. Uh, and what I mean by extra cards, this is like a gift. The first thing you have is a um, gift card. I mean, you could fill this out and send it to someone as a, as a gift card for some special occasion. So nice that you get that. Then you have actually uh, postcards uh, here. So you got a place for a stamp, you can fill it in, and then the cards, this is a good example of the art that's inside that box. So this is the kind of thing you're going to see when you get into the box. And these may even be some of the depictions inside there on the cards. I haven't double double checked to make sure. But so you get these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven postcards and one gift card. So all nice. Now uh, you're going to see what's actually inside the uh, cards themselves. Where can I put this? Let's put it right there. So, the other problem I have with this deck is you have to dump the cards out to get them, and I never liked that. How hard would it have been to include a string that kind of pulls them up? It wouldn't have been hard at all. But the first thing I'm going to show you is that you've got the extra cards. So, there's the, right here in this box at this very moment is the full set of tarot cards. Major Arcana, the Pip cards, everything. So, you can do a reading right now with those cards. These are extra. So these are called uh, the journey, and included in these cards are, you know, a few of these cards are for birth, a few of these cards are for life, and a few of these cards are for death. And so, and this is not specifically in this order, I'm just making an example here. So these cards are called the journey of birth, life, and death. And then how do they look actually? Well, they're beautiful. And so you could use these as oracle cards, you could replace the major arcana, take the major arcana out and put these cards in. You'd have a couple of extra cards though, because there's 23 of these. Um, but you can see that they're beautiful cards. They've got interesting um, uh, titles on them for divination. And so there you go. So yeah, how you would use these cards is completely up to you. You can even just mix them in with the regular tarot deck and just have these extra uh, cards that you, that you use. Okay. Now, the regular tarot cards. So here they are. They've got a good uh, quality, a nice weight to them. They're beautiful cards. These are still new, so they're kind of sticking together. You know how they do before you get a lot of air between the cards. But the uh, thing about these, and they use the very clear Rider Waite um, iconography, uh, of course, in the style of uh, Templar uh, art. And you can see here, like, this is the One of Pentacles, very clear. Uh, this is the Ten of Cups, very clear. This is the King of uh, Wands. So they're easy. These are the Lovers. It says it right here, and this is number six of the Major Arcana. So they're very easy to use uh, for divination. So I like the cards. I haven't really used them yet. I'll probably use them for the first time um, maybe today or tomorrow. On Oh, I don't want to mix these up. And, um, and see how all that goes. So here we go. You've got them. You saw them here first. The Templar Tarot, The Journey. So very interesting. And uh, I think they're great. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now.